They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Well, in this case, that couldn't be true. That is awesome. That is flyboard. Holy cow! This guy's half dolphin. Brian Gannon started his company, Extreme Aquasports, after seeing a YouTube video of flyboarding and thinking, hey, I can do that. So he did, and now he teaches others to do it too. I've flown over 200 people without a problem. It's real easy to learn. Usually two to five minutes before up and flying. There are two immediate questions that come to mind with flyboarding. How does it work, and is it safe? Let's tackle the safety one first. In two years, Brian hasn't had one injury. And let's be honest, if you fall, you're falling into water. Usually people start around, you know, three to five feet. They get a little more comfortable, I'll take them higher. I can pretty much tell by people's body language what they're comfortable with and what they're not. And if they start to lose it, I can lower them down slowly. So it's very low impact. You know, you might be flying into the air, but you're not getting a whole lot of miles per hour. The way it works is pretty easy. There are four pieces, the flyboard, life vest, helmet, and jet ski. And the jet ski exhaust does all the work. All right, so that 55-foot hose goes from the bottom of the flyboard all the way to the end of the jet ski, and it is the propelling, the jet from the jet ski, that's sending him up into the air. After the experts were done showing off, they let me have a shot at it. The instructions were simple. You just lay flat in the water, swing your feet underneath you. Once your feet are underneath you, straighten your legs out nice and straight. That's going to shoot you into the air. Once you're in the air, you bend your right knee to go left, bend your left knee to go right, and that's pretty much it. And after signing the waiver, I was good to go. Brian had high hopes for me. There's lots of tricks you can do, dolphin diving, backflips, uh, you know, spinning around. So try and get you to do a couple of those today. <laughs> I was more concerned with just getting out of the water. Woo but you know what? It was really easy. After a few minutes, I was hovering five to 10 feet in the air. And make no mistake about it, it was awesome. Plus the falls into the water were nothing worse than jumping off a diving board. I think we just found Michigan's next favorite water sport. The hardest part was trying to explain flyboarding to other people. I asked Brian what he says. Uh, Aquaman meets Iron Man. 